already presented the actual operation example along with the source code on how to send the string to UART using SPI. However, since there was no theoretical explanation, here is theoretically how the SPI can send a recognizable signal to the UART. As we all know, SPI is synchronous communication and UART is asynchronous communication. The UART is asynchronous, so the clock signal is not transmitted and the star bit is used for synchronization purposes. The star bit means that the RX TX pin of the UART is kept low for one bit time determined by the boot rate in the logical high state, which is idle state. If you use 2 million BPS, no parity, 7 data bits and 1 stop bit, you can output 1 character every 4.5 microseconds because it is 9 bits by 0.5 microsecond. As shown in the figure, the start bit, the stop bit, and the data bits can be displayed in the logic state of each bit by 0.5 microsecond from the LSB. Since SPI is a synchronous communication, it transmits and receives data bits in synchronization with a clock. In master mode, input and output serial data synchronize to clock. In slave mode, input and output serial data in synchronization with clock transmitted from master. SPI communication speed means the speed of SCK and serial data is input and output synchronized with SCK. Generally, SPI is based on 8 bits data communication, but users can set data bits up to 16 bits. There may also be optional LSB first or MSB first. Since the SPI slave device operates only when the SS pin is low, the master device must select slave device to communicate by controlling SS to low before starting communication. When communication is finished, SS should be controlled high. Let's look at the case where the SPI transfers data to the UART device. The SPI supports 8 data bits. In case of 8-bit SPI, 8 data bits are transmitted with start bit 7 data bits and delay bit is used with stop bit. Because the UART has LSB first communication, if the SPI supports LSB first, it sets the SPI to LSB first. When LSB first communication is performed, one bit shift left for LSB bit 0 to use as start bit, bit 0 is 0, and it operates as start bit and bit 1 to 7 bits or data bits to be transmitted. When MSB first is communicated, it performs bit reverse and one bit shift right, bit 7 becomes 0 and to be operated as start bit and bit 0 to bit 6 as data bits. An example of bit reverse is to convert 0B00001111 to 0B11110000. When the signal is transmitted from the SPI, the UART device transmits data by sampling the S0, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7 for each bit based on the start bit. If 6 data bits and 1 stop bit are communicated, 8 data bits are transmitted with start bit plus 6 data bits plus 1 stop bit, so there is no delay for stop bit. This is an example of transferring data to UART using SPI MSB first. As mentioned above, if it is MSB first, it performs bit reverse and shift right by 1 bit, so that bit 7 operates as start bit and transmits to UART. For example, when transmitting C0x430 0B0100011 is reversed to 0xC2 0B1100010, bit reverse data should shift right by 1 bit and transmit 0x61 0B0110001 to UART. If bit reverse and 1 bit shift write data is written in the SPI transmit data register, 8 bits of data with the MSB of 0, which operates in sync with the set SPI SCK, will be output. The output 8 bits data is input to the UART RX pin, and the start bit and data bits are sampled at the set boot rate and stored in the UART shift register. When all 8 bits of data including the start bit are received, they are copied from the UART shift register to the received data register. 
The user then reads the UART receive data register that contains the start bit, ships it by one bit shift write, discards the start bit, and copies only the pure data to the user memory. This is an example of transmitting data to UART using SPILSB first. Shipped left by one bit so that bit zero operates as start bit and transmits to UART. The UART samples the start bit and seven data bits in the idle state and stores it in the shift register. When all the start bits plus seven data bits of eight data bits are received, they are copied from the UART shift register to the received data register. The user can shift the data of the UART received data register by shifting right and copy it to the user memory. In case of sending no parity, 7 data bits and 1 stop bit of data to UART using SPI, inter-character delay of more than 1 bit time is required because it does not physically transmit stop bit. For example, if sending from SPI to UART at 2 million BPS, an inter-character delay of at least 0.5 microsecond is required. Since the SPI keeps the logical high idle state of the MOSI pin after the data transfer is completed, if the inner character delay is maintained for more than one bit transmission time, the UART recognizes that it has received the stop bit. If you have watched the video so far, you can send more than 8 bits of data to UART using SPI that supports 16 bits. I hope this has helped you.